Hi everybody, my name is Becky Fiddler, here to give you another superficial muscle functions video of the week. I chose to do the rectus femoris muscle, which is found right on your thigh, right dead center, on the quadriceps. Okay, I'll go over the origin, insertion, functions, and exercises of this muscle. And this is actually one of my favorite muscles. So, the origin of the rectus femoris muscle is found on the anterior, in, just inferior of the iliac crest. So it's right in front of you on your iliac, just below the iliac crest. And it is on the superior medial border of the acetabulum. And then inserts on the superior aspect of the patella and it is pretty much your patellar tendon connecting onto the tibial, tibial tuberosity. Okay, so just to show you where this muscle is. Okay. So like I said, it starts anteriorly on the inferior iliac spine or crest of the ilium. Okay. So if you feel your hip bone and all of a sudden it drops off right there and it feels like a hole, that's where the rectus femoris starts. Okay, and then it, and it's a little thick area. Okay, so your acetabulum is right beneath that muscle. So this muscle runs right in front right here and connects to that superior aspect of the patella and since the patella is actually into the muscle it is the patellar tendon okay and then connects to that tibial tuberosity on your leg which is the bump that you would feel pretty much the start of your shin okay so the actions of this muscle you'll find is hip flexion, which is bending over. You have knee extension, which is straightening your leg out. And you also have anterior pelvic rotation. So to show you what hip flexion is again, you're bending at the hips. Okay. Now for knee extension, so you're starting here, this is knee extension. So you have your leg bent, and that was straight. So that is knee extension. Then you have anterior pelvic rotation, which is if your pelvic is tilted back, and you rotate it forward. So basically you're going to see your butt pop up. Okay but your pelvic, the top of it, is rotating forward. Okay, and that is actually the only muscle of the quadriceps that is going to do any sort of hip flexion because the rectus femoris is a double-jointed muscle. So, uh, again, as far as exercises, you have to be careful. Um, a lot of people do... Uh, like leg press and things like that for the quads and you can do those that's perfectly fine however when the rectus femoris is in the hip flexion position if your hip is flexed it is a weak knee extensor so you'll not be working the rectus femoris very well if you're already in hip flexion. Okay, so if you're already in this position, your rectus femoris isn't going to work very well for knee extension. Okay. So the best way to work this particular muscle would be to either do hip flexion or knee extension, not together. Uh, for the best results because the muscle can only concentrate on one motion at a time 
It's the all or nothing uh, theory, if you guys want to look that up. So, you can either do hip flexion, okay, which you could easily use a band and put it against your knee right in the front, and you can work on drives, okay, or you could put a band on your ankle and do knee extensions while you're standing. Okay, so that those are the best ways to develop that muscle because if you're already working it just by sitting, if you just do knee extension, you're not going to work it very well. You'll work the other quadriceps muscles more so than the rectus femoris. I actually found that out um, in college uh, whenever the question came up about um, because the muscle was a double jointed muscle and there was that all or none theory the question came up as to in the leg press you're already sitting so is the rectus femoris not engaged while you're sitting because there's hip flexion there or is the rectus femoris not participating in the leg extension whenever you, um, or the knee extension, I'm sorry, whenever you do your leg press. So again, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you're able to apply this to your training. So happy training everybody. See you guys later, next video.